Hello friends, today I am going to tell you the various measuring devices for the pressure. Now as you can see I have made some notes for, for this. Uh, these are the notes from the very famous gate coaching made easy. That is from India, of course. So uh, now come to the topic pressure measuring devices. The first measuring device is phasometer. Piezometer is a device which is open at both the ends and its one end is connected to the atmosphere and the other end is connected to the point where we have to, ma we have to measure the pressure. So uh, at this point some atmospheric pressure will act and at this point there will be a pressure that we have to calculate. So let's read the note. Physiometer is a device which is open at both the ends. One end is connected to the point where the pressure is to be formed and the other end is open to the atmosphere as I have said. It is used for measuring moderate liquid pressure. Uh, generally the question is asked to find the gauge pressure. So in the case of gauge pressure we take the atmospheric pressure as zero and hence the total pressure P here will be equal to rho G H this height h, the pressure due to this height h and the p atmospheric, this pressure which acts here and that will be equal to zero hence the total pressure will be equal to rho g h now the second device, the very famous device and many questions came uh, from this topic manometer manometer are basically a device uh, it is a youtube device and it is of two types one is differential manometer and the second is simple manometer differential manometer is basically used to measure the pressure difference uh, between two points and the simple manometer is used to find the pressure at any point so let's see the notes manometer are used for finding out pressure generally mercury is used as a manometric fluid because of its low vapor pressure of and high density that is very uh, very positive point of this mercury <coughs> in the that is why it is used in manometers now let's do it there are basically two methods for finding the pressure at a point first one is jumping of fluid technique and this jumping of fluid technique we start from this point and goes to this step by step now uh, the, at this point the pressure is P and this will remain constant till this point and as we go down the pressure will increase and this pressure will be equal to rho into y into g here P plus rho G Y and this pressure will be same at this point also so we jump from this to this and this that is why it is known as jumping of fluid technique and now uh, as we go up the pressure will decrease obviously and hence this will be equal to minus rho G and X the height X and this will be equal to the p atmospheric which which is equal to zero for gauge pressure only for gauge pressure and hence total pressure will be equal to this the second is dotum technique in the dotum technique we assume a datum line and the pressure at both the sides will be equal so pressure at a will be equal to the pressure at b now uh, we measure the pressure at A that will be equal to P plus this rho G Y and pressure at B will be equal to P atmospheric plus this rho G X this as you can see here P A it will be equal to this and P atm will be taken as 0 and this the P B the value of P B will be rho G X now the pressure will be this as we equate P L equal to P B which is same as this of course uh, now uh, there are some questions uh, in which it is asked that 
to find the vacuum pressure in the case of vacuum pressure uh, the this height y will decrease and this pressure come here and this height will go there and hence uh, in the vacuum pressure basically vacuum pressure is the negative pressure negative atmospheric pressure so therefore the uh, this height will decrease and this height will increase and by applying the simple jumping fluid technique we can find the vacuum pressure now let us do a numerical based on this manometer problem uh, very famous numerical and it is asked very times and very much times in gate exams this uh, Two U2 manometer connected in a series as shown in figure. Then find the pressure difference between x and y in kilopascal. Please, uh, please take care of these units. These are very mandatory. Now, as I have applied here the jumping technique, the first technique. So let's solve it. Pressure here will be taken as Px, as you can see, and then as we go down, the pressure will increase due to the height. This is due to this height, and hence plus one thousand the the density of water into nine point eight one into this height. Now, as we go down, the pressure here will be equal to the pressure here, and as we go up, this is the mercury fluid. This is the mercury filled here. So. As we go up, the pressure will decrease, and that will be equal to thirteen point six into ten to the power three. That is the density of mercury. Thirteen point six is the specific gravity of mercury, and to ten to the power three will give its whole density. Specific gravity is equal to thirteen point six, and into ten to the power three will give its density. Into nine point eight one into one point one two the height, and this pressure will be equal to this. The pressure will remain same till this point. Now, uh, as we go down again, the pressure will increase. So, plus one thousand into nine point eight one into zero point seven five. This pressure will remain same till this point, and as we go up, the pressure will decrease. This thirteen point six into ten power three into nine point eight one into zero point eight at this height. And as we further go up, the pressure will again decrease, and this decrease will be represented as one thousand into nine point eight one into one point five minus zero point eight eight, and that will be equal to Py, the pressure here. And hence, we can find the pressure difference Px into Px minus Py, and that will be equal to this. Please note here, this is a differential manometer. This is not a simple manometer, and hence. in the differential manometer as i said earlier we can find the pressure difference between these two points and it is a very easy numerical the manometer numerical are very easy to solve so that's all so sir please subscribe me and please like thank you